Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Darren. Darren is from Scotland, he lives in Glasgow. Let's see what Darren has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi Darren, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, very good, very good. Having a lazy day. Good, yes? <laughs> That's nice. It's been it's been rainy. I mean, not rainy, but it's been very grey in London. Like so it's been, you know, those days when you just feel like be at home, that's relaxing, cozy. That's how it feels like. <laughs> okay. Sounds awesome. Okay, Darren. So before we start the game, just tell me where you're from. Scotland, Glasgow. Scotland, Glasgow. Wow. Yeah. First guest of Glasgow. Yes. First yeah. guest of Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I work for a homeless charity, help, uh, obviously helping the homeless in the uh, streets of Glasgow. Okay, and what's the most interesting thing about your job, in your opinion? Uh, just how random it is, every night's completely different, it's just the job satisfaction, helping people out. Okay, and then um, um, another question, what do you think is the, uh, if you could uh, define the best and the worst of living in Glasgow, what would you tell me? Uh, the best is uh, it's a really friendly city to live in. Um, the friendliest place I've lived, I've lived quite a few places, but uh, I'd say it's the friendliest uh, city definitely. But uh, on the flip side, it's quite deprived. So what, quite what? It, it's quite deprived area uh, city. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay, Darren. So welcome to Eden in the Magic Box. I've got here this lovely box full of random fun questions. Okay, I'm just gonna play a music now, just for us to get in the mood before the first question. Ready? Let's do it. Hope you like it. Okay, Darren. Let's go for the first question. Ready? Right. What was your best friend's name when you were growing up? And why did you consider this person your best friend at the time? Eh, uh, oh, it's a no-brainer. My cousin Damien. Just uh, circumstances we knew, knew each other from forever. Okay. But yeah, we grew up in. I didn't actually. I'm not actually come from Glasgow. I come from a small town in uh, northeast of Scotland. Okay. And uh, so yeah, we just used to knock about, getting in all sorts of trouble together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are you still in touch? Yeah, I'm still in touch, yeah. Not, not as much as we should be, you know, but yeah. That's good, that's great, that's great. Right, let's go for the second question. Let's do it, Darren. Okay, just before the next question, um, what's the population in Glasgow, more or less? Uh, oh. It's, I, would, it's I, would, I would hazard a guess of saying it's in excess of half a million anyway. Okay, so it's 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 not very small, it's just quite big. It's a, it is the biggest uh, city in Scotland, but it's not the capital. The capital is Edinburgh. Edinburgh. They've, got, they've got a castle. <laughs> <laughs> but Edinburgh is it's not far away from Glasgow, is it? No, it's maybe three an hour, three quarters of an hour drive or something. Ah, okay. Yeah, quite close, quite close. Cool. Next question is. What is the worst advice have we ever given? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was uh, one of my mates actually phoned me up and asked my. Um, he says that he was thinking about going out with uh, my ex, and he asked my like, advice, and uh, probably gave him the wrong advice. I should have maybe told him to steer clear, but I didn't. <laughs> 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 didn't did end well. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go for another question. Let's do. Am I saying your name right, Darren? Yeah, sir. Perfect. Perfect. I'll tell you something. I've been living in the UK, in London, for like, let's say, 14 years now. And I always want to go to Scotland. I never managed. But um, soon, I'd, I'd like to, to explore around. It's such a beautiful country, isn't it? Such a, like, mountains and everything i've seen so many people like post online some pictures and it's just oh yeah especially i mean like for scenery scenic views and all that oh, i used to work i was a fisherman before i started i've only been doing this uh, working uh, for the homeless for the past uh, year i was a uh, deep sea fisherman before that for 20 years so 
And the last boat I was on was in uh, the Isle of Skye. Have you heard of that? No. Isle of Skye. It's away. It's an island just way north. Uh, and it oh, was a bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as a bridge connects it from the, the mainland now. And uh, so I was working out there, and oh man, the, the scenery was just stunning. And when, when I was getting any time off, I was going up all the hills and all that. It was beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Right. Um, what is the nicest? What is the nicest thing a family member has ever done for you? So what's nice things? All they do is nice things from all the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, the last one. Something that you remember now. Something that's uh, like, like like something I remember uh, just in the past day, uh, well, a couple of years ago. They actually bought my car. So when I passed my test, I was late in pass, passing my test. So uh -huh. when I passed my test, I thought oh, I didn't have money for a car, and uh, they bought my car. So. Oh my yeah, God. It's quite a quite a meaty, um, uh, What's the word for it? It's just about money, but they've done so much nice things for my. Can't even put it in the works, really. Yeah, I see. It's not just about the the, the material things, about you yeah, know, the... material things. Yeah, that's the word that yeah. you didn't get there. Just went total <laughs> blank. <laughs> are you feeling nervous or okay? Uh, uh, it's, it's coming in waves. <laughs> I see. I see. I understand. I understand. I just want to relax and have a good time. Don't worry. Shall I go for another one? Yeah, let's try again. Let's do it, darling. Let's do it. Right, um, what is a signif significant event that has changed you? Oh, that could be a deep one, actually. I, 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 the reason I left the fishing was I, I had a nervous breakdown, so I was in hospital for two months. And uh, so, yeah, that totally changed my life and changed my career, changed my outlook in life. So what happened? Sorry, I didn't get it. I, I had a breakdown, a nervous breakdown. Ended up in the, the psychiatric hospital for two months. Oh my god, wow! Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So, and that changed oh, everything? Changed everything, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Cool. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Let's go for another question. Let's do it. Just before the next question, Darren, uh, do you have all your family, like, they live in Glasgow or they live a friend around? Um, yeah, all my wife's family, she, they live in Glasgow because my wife, uh, she's from Glasgow originally. Uh, but all my family still live up in the northeast. Up uh -huh. there, a small town called Bam, thinks a population of like 3,000 people. Oh wow. So, <laughs> it's, a little, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little fishing village. So. I see. Do you have brothers and sisters as well? Yeah, I have an older brother and I have a younger sister. They are living around in Glasgow? Well, my sister actually lives in, she's just bought a house in South Africa, but she it works in uh, South Sudan. She uh, works for the United Nations. Okay. Uh, she was in the army for 10 years prior to that, and then she's got a job with the UN. Uh, she's a dog handler, so she's a manager of uh, the dogs over in the United Nations in South Sudan. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, wow. Next question is, um, give one advice to your prime minister. If you could have, just give just one advice to your prime minister, what would you say? Give someone else a shot. Huh? Give someone else a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get another question. Let's do it. Okay, Darren. Next question is: If someone offered to tell you your, to tell your future, would you accept it, and why? Uh, well, I actually got somebody offered to do my cards two days ago at my work, and I said, no thanks, I don't want to know. <laughs> 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 so, I know the answer to that one, plain and simple, no. I'd rather not know, to be honest. <laughs> I think I'm the same as you, I like to, I think I'll be too paranoid to hear things, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. seeing all positive and, and negative, I'll feel like I'll keep in my head that, and I wouldn't, uh, well, I wouldn't talk. I'm yes. with you on that one, like, no way. <laughs> That's true, I'm, I'll do the same as well. Actually, when I was younger, I remember when I was younger, like a teenager, I was a bit fascinated with those things. I think it's because the age as well, we want to know what you're going to do in life, this kind of thing. Uh -huh. But yeah, but I remember when I was a teenager, I remember I was a bit fascinated about it, and someone said about it, but nowadays, I know, it's not, I, I'm not interested. I, I just kind of, okay, just me live life and... Uh, Make your own future. Yes, yes, <laughs> and, yes. Okay, Darren, let's go for another one. Let's do it. The 
before the next question, I'll tell you something. When I, when I was, as I told you, when I was, I was checking profiles online to see, um, to see like you know, people, different people from different uh, places, and I realized about your beard. You always had a long beard, or? Uh, yes, on and off. Like for the past uh, six years, when I stopped uh, drinking. I grew a beard and I got obsessed with my beard and that got me off the drink because I was an alcoholic for 20 years when I was a fisherman as well. So I, the, I, I say the beard saved my life. <laughs> oh wow, that's interesting. And uh, so how long, how far has been that, that beard? It's, uh, six years. Six years. Yeah, I, get, I get cut every month, so but it... Uh... You know, there's there's a com communities online, like com communities that the beard guys, you have so many people that, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if you're part of those groups online, like there's so many... Yeah. The bearded villains. Yes, yes. And um, how, how is the maintenance of the beard? It's, it takes time, like daily. How does it work? Uh, yeah, well, it takes as much time as you want to put in it. Like, but uh, yeah, it doesn't take that. You come out of the bath, you put your stuff on and dry it, and that's it. I'm pretty lucky. My beard kind of looks after itself. I don't know. It's just. <laughs> I, could, I could come out of the shower and just brush it and then just leave it to dry itself. It just, just sits perfect. I see. <laughs> Describe yourself in a positive and a neg negative word only. <laughs> <laughs> Happy and silly. Okay, and the negative one? And the silly was the negative one. Happy is the positive oh, one. Oh, silly was the negative. I think silly is a positive one because I'm very silly <laughs> as well. <laughs> okay, right, I'll do, I'll do that. I'll do that. That's fine, no, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, if you consider the negative, but I'll take it, I'll take that. <laughs> it's funny because I was connected happy with silly. I'm not, I'm not feeling very negative today, so don't, 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 don't start, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I'll take that. Right, let's do it. Just before the next question, I was when I was checking your profile, I could see that you have kids, yeah? Yeah, two kids. Tell me, uh, what is the, uh, before the next question, the most me memorable lesson you learned from your kids? The, the, the one the most memorable lesson that I've learned? Yeah. yeah. Never a judge in a day. <laughs> okay, good one. Next question. Um, it's a good one. If you need, if you need to re, uh, to remove for your uh, for your phone, social media like Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, which one would be and why? Whatever. You know this. I would get rid of YouTube, but I would make sure no one could. I know we're on it just now with that, but see the the pain it causes me with my kids. Then uh -huh. on YouTube, and then they're watching some of the stuff that they're watching that. But uh, yeah, so I'm sorry, I'd have to do YouTube. but would have to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would find difficult because YouTube can find so much thing over there nowadays. Like, I know, I know, I know, but it causes so much <laughs> carry on in my house. <laughs> it's going by default. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Right, next question. Let's do Darren. Tell me something uh, that you only can find in Glasgow. You cannot find anywhere else in the world. Glasgow rolls. It's uh, like uh, softies, like bread, but just single, and they're called Glasgow rolls, and they only sell them in Glasgow. Oh, okay, okay. Very yeah. simple. It's unique. Yeah. It's unique to Glasgow, yes. Oh, wow. And you just but, eat like plain? What's that? You just eat, eat it like plain? or? Do you oh, no, 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 no. We're Scottish. We put like fried eggs, fried sausages, fried tomatoes. Okay, okay. Next question is, um, what is the most memorable lesson you learned from your parents? Well, from my dad, the, the most memorable thing was the fact that he is uh, totally obsessed with animals, so every chance he got, we just had him out, he had us out into the nature, and I learned so much mm -hmm. from him. And uh, yeah, I think just uh, as you said about being nature, like a uh, productive nature is a good thing for the parents. Yeah, well, with my parents, we, we lived in the house that we lived in, it had like a good bit of ground. Out there, and, my, and because my dad was into nature, and that, they kind of let us have so much animals. So we had like ferrets. We even we had a goose once. And, well, we got a goose egg from somewhere, and we had hens. So we put the goose egg under a hen, and the hen hatched out a goose. And then the goose kind of just thought it was a hen. It just used to run about with all the hens in the back garden. 
Oh my god, this is and, really... and, uh, and once it got uh, so once it got full size, it was quite an aggressive uh, goose. And the post they uh, refused to start to, start to deliver our mail. So mum and dad had to go down to the post office to pick up the mail because this goose was so like, better than any guard dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! So we ended up having to get rid of it. It went to, it went to a nice farm. Charlie the goose. Right. <laughs> That's amazing. Do you do you, do you miss the, uh, this time when you were, you said you were fishing for 20 years? You said. Yeah. Do you miss do you miss the what do you miss the most about that period of your life? I, I really like the job. Yeah, I like to. Uh, it's hard work and just uh, got a lot of satisfaction out of the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, I don't miss the time away. I don't miss the no sleeping for like three, four days at a time and the <sighs> the weather and. <laughs> Yeah. I like I, mowing bed now. I like mowing bed every night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, Darren, let's go for another question. Let's do it. <laughs> Next question is, what's the happiest day in your life so far and why? To be honest, uh, I... <laughs> Well, it's not that part long, long ago, really. Just since my recovery from being out of hospital, and that I think I would put it down to starting. I only started permanently this job. I've been volunteering doing this position that I'm doing just now for the past eight months. Mm -hmm. But I only actually started doing it full time on Monday, so it's been five days. So take one day was quite a happy day. <laughs> oh wow, it's amazing! Wow, just cool. starting, starting my new uh, career ashore. And just, Getting a normal. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. Yes, but it's, it's like those days, it's, it's just memorable, isn't it? You just feel happy doing those days. It's just, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Naturally, a nice natural feeling. Darren, shall we do another one? Yeah. Yeah, good. Let's do it. All right. Next question is um, Oh, what's the most Dramatic argument have we ever had? Oh. Right. I'll be honest with you here. I'm bipolar and my wife's bipolar, so all our arguments are uh, dramatic. <laughs> 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 so, uh, oh man. It's always the argument between you it's, and your it's wife. always, yeah, it's always this. It's, it's like crazy or calm. There's no happy, there's no middle ground. I see. But what, that must be the relationship as well more interesting, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I will say interesting, yeah. Of course. <laughs> it's not easy, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy, but it yeah. makes it interesting. So I, I couldn't possibly answer that question. That's just that they're all, they're, they're, the arguments are all quite uh, insane. It's like a drama. <laughs> like, you know, Brazilian people, we say like, Brazilian people, we grew up like watching like soap operas, you know? Yes. Yeah. They're dramatic, you know, the, this family, yeah. like the argument. And when sometimes I meet like people, like uh, foreign people, and they go like, oh my God, you Brazilian guys are so dramatic. I said, it's because of the soap operas, you know? So <laughs> we grew up watching those things, you know, it's like our culture it makes so drama out of anything. Like little things to make this big drama. And it's a, it's a Latin thing, it's a very Brazilian thing, so always make this joke. Okay. Right, Darren, I've got three questions left, okay? Okay. Let's get it done. Okay. Darren, um, ooh. My God, oh. all, the questions come up, all the questions come up to you is like very, like, like about feelings, about dramas, about... Uh, next, <laughs> next one is, what makes you really angry? Uh, judgmental people, definitely. <laughs> I fool yeah. that bad thing for that, that. That's gonna get me out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's true sometimes, yeah? That's yeah. true, sometimes you cannot hold it. You need to express yourself sometimes. Right. To be honest with you, if I, uh, there somebody, well, I was doing shoot the other day and somebody asked me, really, if you could change like uh, something in the world, I would say change people's mentality. Like, it would yeah. make a difference, my God. 100%. Sometimes you don't need to understand. You don't, it's, if it's different of you, if you've never seen before, it's okay. You don't need to understand or to, you know, even to accept it, but you need to respect, you know, you need to respect. And I think this is the big thing. And uh, yes, I totally agree. It's judgmental. It, it's, 
for me, I think the judgmental people there is an insecurity thing, you know, some is insecurity. Yeah. I think sometimes they they want to be like the way they are judging, they want to be that, that kind of, but they can, they're not like brave that. enough. They're not brave enough to be like that. Yeah. So what they do, they judge. I think yeah. that's, um, yeah, totally. It, it can make me angry. On the same page there, brother. Yeah, it can make, it actually can make me angry as well. Like, you know, because it it's, I try to understand why it's, it, you know, you can judge so much, you know. But, oh, yeah. It's quite common, like, I, get, I get angry about it on a daily basis. <laughs> no, me too, it's, it's very common, and, and I think what makes me feel even more like sad and angry is because, my God, we are nowadays, nowadays things are more open, it's, it's too much, you know, yeah. you know there's so much, why is people still, lo it's like a wasting time, when you wasting time judging, you know, it's just wasting your time, because uh, you need to accept it, not going to change anyway, so just accept it, it hurt less, you know. <laughs> I think it'll take another few generations yet for it to... Yeah. I think if I would, if I would make a, a school, school subject as well, like early age, I would say, let's learn how not to be judgmental. You yeah. know, it makes a difference. You right. think it's, it sounds simple, does it? <laughs> it? Yeah, it's so simple. I mean, as, I said to you, as I said to you, but I think it's, it's a society thing. We grew, we've been raised, you know, in a way that... Uh, okay. Yeah, it's because uh, children they don't understand that. It's just like it's that adult thing, you know. It's we, uh, yeah. But anyway, hopefully one day things will change and we, yeah, fingers crossed. Cool. I've got two questions left. Let's do it. Let's be happy, not judgmental. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Not another question. What's the biggest difference between you and your wife? I suppose she likes to sleep in in the mornings and I don't. She wants what to sleep? She likes to sleep longer than me in the morning, that's about it. Oh, really? Oh. Are you a day person or night person? Yeah, I'm a morning person, yeah. Me too, me too. Morning is just... And she, she likes to, to stay a little bit longer. Yeah. A little bit, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> can be tricky, can be tricky. That's where the argument starts, eh? Yeah? That's where it starts and then who knows where it ends, eh? <laughs> right, Darren, I've got one question left. Let's do it. Okay, so last question is, what is your last favorite chore? The my least favorite chore? Yeah. Um, dishes. <laughs> uh, washing dishes. Yeah? Uh, well, I don't mind doing the hoovering, but the reason I don't like doing the dishes is because me and my wife do a little thing that we'll, we'll just keep putting dishes and we'll end up like just balancing dishes up and like no one came around like, on a like standoff of who's going to have to wash the dishes, so it's like dishes Jenga, we call it. So, That's like, why. <laughs> so, because by the time of, by the time I actually fold and have to do the dishes, there's so much that it's just a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Darren, it's not the end yet. Okay, what I'm going to do now? I'm going to give away some words, and you just tell me one thing that comes to your mind. Okay, quick thinking. Well, I'll make you do that. Okay, I just say one. Yeah, uh, let's start with family. Love. Okay, um, money? Work. Love? Family. Life? For a little bit, uh, uh, fun. Okay, sex? Awesome. Politics? Boring. Religion? Nah. <laughs> Fear? Pointless. Mm, friendship. Necessity. Wish. Wish uh, happiness. Great. Last one. Uh, Scotland. Beautiful. Great. Right, so now let's pretend now I'm going to have a cup of tea with your wife and I'm going to ask your wife. Tell me the most beautiful thing about Darren and tell me something that he needs to improve on. What do you think your wife will tell me? Uh, she would probably say my kindness and things I would need to improve on would be probably <laughs> anger issues. Huh? Anger issues, maybe. 
<laughs> right, Darren. Let's play now, Darren, and the magic box, and you can ask me a question, okay? But okay, Darren. So now you can ask me a question. Okay, it's a question I ask quite a lot of people. Really, I, I quite like to know this one. Is uh, what's your first memory? Your what? Your first memory. My first memory. Um. Actually, it's a very easy one because I have this question as well on the magic box. I have this question, and um, it's uh, my first memory in life, uh, Darren. I remember my dad. He's a truck driver, and um, so I remember he was driving uh, like you know what I mean, around the, the the states where I come from. And uh, the first memory I remember is it, it. I remember it was like a lake, very small lake, and I remember him. It was like uh, uh, early evening, and was I remember even the sound was like the sound of like some. And mosquitoes or something and I remember just him like holding my hand from the lake and put myself in the truck it's the first memory I had like when I think yeah. about memories he said I remember him like and actually when I talked when I explained to you I can still see it this it was a very small lake and I remember him say okay let's go now and he just put in my hand and I was I think I was looking the lake for some reason and he was just pulling me and he put me in the truck and that's the first thing I don't remember anything else but I just remember this early memory that's my earliest memory in life. That's, um, yeah. May I ask yours? Uh, mine was, uh, we actually, I think I was a, I was a really young, probably two or three, and uh, I was standing at the bottom of the stairs of the house that we lived in, and I remember looking up and it was dark. It was a really creepy house, now that I think back, but there was a stag's head, and I said like that at the top of the stairs, and I remember just being petrified and running back into the living room. It's like, <laughs> Hazy, but I remember looking at the stag's head and it just looked so sinister in my child head, <laughs> childlike head. So, yeah, I was in, ingrained in my brain for years. It's true, you see. <laughs> but, funny enough, the one you have behind you, my, my granddad, he used to have one in the living room as well. And I always remember looking at it. I was like, it is real? I was asking all the time, it is real? <laughs> like, all the time I was going there to visit then. And uh, yeah. but it was looked very real and had like a big horn as well. Yeah. And, uh, Yes, I think it's actually my grandmother still have actually. I remember that. I remember have this looking there. The first thing spot I was like, is this real? <laughs> it's a bit scary. So but anyway. My, my, my father used to have a deer farm, so that was one that uh, from his deer farm as well. Right. So we used to feed that one for about 10 years. It was a pet. Oh, wow. Horace is his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary me now. I look at it when I saw it. I was like, oh, there you go. I remember that. Like, Oh, my dad, Sometimes it does look a bit pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, did you have a good time? Yeah, it was brilliant. I yeah. it. Obviously, there was a couple of ones that just went blank on, like, but no, that's not I'm that's sure fun. we, I'm sure we are editing skills. You'll manage to sort that out. <laughs> I'm sure. No, no, I'm doing some edit after. We're just gonna be, look, look. Um, it was great. It was great. It's good to connect uh, with, you know what I mean, people with different background, different beliefs, different um, culture as well. And I was very fascinated as well because I told you we were my first guest from Scotland, yeah. and it's it, it's been amazing. And it's just nice to connect with people um, that I can see are very open and you talk about um, like random things very easily. And I um, hope you had a good time. I hope uh, I just made your day different of your routine. I just That's hope right. you're not going to be mad at you because you've been here like this time. Uh, she'll be <laughs> mad at me for something. I don't know what it'll be for, but she'll be mad for something. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just before you go, if you could share like a positive message, a positive quote, something that inspires you in life. Uh, worrying is like a rocking chair. It passes the time and gets you nowhere. Good. Like that. Very good one. Very good one. Did you have a good time? I did. Brilliant. Yeah. Good. Yeah, Thanks so much. And one day for sure I'll come to Glasgow. Maybe we can have hey, if, if you, uh, Yeah, if you're ever in Glasgow, you give me a shout and I'll show you around. No problem. Totally. Totally. I did, I, I'll, totally I'll, I'll, I'll come for sure. Sometime when this epidemic moment finishes, I'm sure I'll go come. And I'd like to, to have a look around. Okay? Thanks so much. Sure. All the best for the wife, for your kids, and keep in touch. Okay? Right. Cheers, Paul. Thanks. Thanks for the interview. Bye bye. Take care. Did you have a nice time? Enjoy the interview, William and the Magic Box. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, William and the Magic Box. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, just visit our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com. Give a like, share the video, and see you tomorrow with another lovely interview. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.